What's going on guys, your boy Joey 6 coming to you guys with a video right now. So if you guys have not, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate all the support that I do get covering free agency, covering the draft, covering everything Eagles related um, going down the road. So if you guys have not joined Shake Squad, come join Shake Squad. Want to go over some of the cornerback prospects from the combine, go over the 40 times, go over some some crazy stuff, you know, because there's a lot of guys, that, there's at least, I think two corners will actually get drafted in the first round, depending on how the draft board does go, but there's at least six or seven guys I want to keep an eye on, guys that may start when they come in, guys that may only fit in a good scheme, or guys that pretty much need to sit behind for a year, learn, and then start the next year. So number one on my list is Jeff Okuda, the cornerback from Ohio State, okay? The best man-to-man -man coverage corner in this draft, okay? Not even just seeing, you know, I think his 40 time was... His 40 time was 4.48. Um, so, you know, you can't take the 40, like with the cornerbacks especially, because they don't run in a straight line the whole entire time. They're stars, they're stopping, you know, they're covering guys on certain routes. So you really can't take the 40 into a whole thing. You know, Richard Sherman was a guy that was drafted and he only ran like a 4.5. I, I remember that. His, his, 40, his 40 wasn't good and look what and look what he became, um, you know, for, for a good amount of years. So, um, Jeff Okuda, best man-to-man -man coverage corner, could play zone, could play man, but you're you're drafting him. When you draft a corner in the top ten, you're drafting him because he is a man-to-man -man corner. Okay, you don't draw, you don't dr draft a corner in the first round, especially in the top ten for a zone corner. Okay, this guy can cover almost anybody uh, in college, and I think he's going to be a shutdown. Um, in the NFL, okay, if he has the right coaches around him and, and he does what he's supposed to do and, and works hard in the NFL, of course, without any off-the-field issues, um, I think we'll be fine with that. I have the Detroit Lions taking him, but you never know what could happen in the draft. Um, just seeing him on his, just seeing him on, you know, doing his drills, I mean, moving backwards and just how smoothly he turns his hips. I mean, just smooth. You didn't see any sta uh, a stagment, um, any type of stagger, uh, moving backwards, you know, losing balance, because the one thing you can't do is lose balance you lose balance for a quick second against a top receiver in the league in the nfl you're going to be in a lot of trouble so jeff okuda in my book the best corner in this draft the best man-to-man -man coverage corner in this draft and whoever gets him is going to be completely satisfied because the eagles will not get him the next corner on my list is javelin uh k gudry from utah um i have him pretty much he is he's i think he ran a 4.30 ran a 4.30 and honestly, guys, the guy's got a lot of speed. The guy has good comeback speed. The guy just doesn't have as much technique, okay? So I see this guy coming in, maybe helping a team. I mean, he could start, but the problem with him is it's just technique. It's 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 the inside, uh, you know, slant routes. He really can't cover too good on the slant routes. And um, it's just the quick maneuvers that receivers do. Um, you know, he, he easily gets a little frustrated, a little light on his feet, a little clumsy on his feet here and there. He's made a lot of good plays, but I think he's definitely a draftable talent in the third to the fourth round. I mean, he could go late second if somebody wants to take a chance on him. Um, I, I wasn't able to see the video of him um, kind of doing his drills. Um, but, you know, from what I've seen from his highlight film and actually watching, um, actually watching full games of every play that he was in for certain games, um, I liked, I liked his coverage. He has good coverage skills, but sometimes he gets a little light on his feet, gets a little clumsy. Um, it's just something he just needs to work on in the NFL. I think he needs to just, you know, learn, um, get coached up right. And I think he could become a, a pretty good corner of the league. CJ Henderson from Florida. That is number three for me because you have pretty much the best I think he, he ran a 4.39, but he, not only is he fast, the comeback speed is good. He mirrors the receiver very nicely. He's a good balance. He is like a balanced corner that can play zone and man. So he's not fantastic at both, but he's pretty damn good at both. He's pretty good at both. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he's, he's no shutdown. He's not, but he is productive, okay? In the NFL, he will be productive on the field because he could play 4-3-3, three, three, whatever the hell you want him to do. You can put him anywhere on the field. You can line him up off the receiver, um, press coverage. It does not matter. Um, C.J. Henderson has a lot of high a high ceiling in him going to the NFL, okay? Um, I have him. He could move up to the first round of this draft. He could move up. He could actually be an early second to a late first round pick, okay? A lot of teams need corners, so... Um, the Eagles are one of them, of course. So um, seeing him doing his, you know, his maneuvering, his routes, the turning of the hips, 
Um, he had actually, he didn't really have a good day today. Um, he really ha had a hard time turning his hips. He stat, you know, he almost fell. Uh, it was close. He, you know, his feet weren't moving with his body. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's when you're at the combine, this is the stuff that happens because then you could be graded a little bit lower than other corners or other positions because, you know, you look bad in, you know, some, you know, Doing the combine, you just you, if you look bad doing something, it makes you look bad. Your draft stock goes down, but I don't think so. I think a team will take a chance. Um, you know, his his he looked very robotic turning around, trying you know trying to maneuver when they were doing uh, all the combine stuff with the corners today. So he didn't really look too fantastic. Um, but I would definitely take a chance on him. C.J. Henderson is the is one of the is probably the best balanced corner when it comes to man coverage and zone. So I, I would definitely take a chance. Next on my list is Josiah Scott from Michigan State. Okay, Josiah Scott. Um, this is a guy that used to play. This is a guy that used to play. Um, I had to look at his time. He ran a four point four two in the forty. He used to play running back and receiver um, actually um, in high school and. He is somewhat of a, I guess, in progress to be a starter. I don't think he's going to start his first year, okay? He had a lot of issues with, you know, slants, you know, covering slant passes, you know, mirroring the receiver on the quick throws. Um, but his technique isn't that bad. It goes after the hands of, of the receiver. Um, he, he's, he's got very good mirroring, and, and he's very good at, at making tackles in the backfield. He's, I've seen him do it a million times, and, uh, you know, he, he tackles pretty low. A little too low, but he tackles, you know, tackles at, at a good, you know, I, which is good. I, I like corners that don't, you know, when you tackle up high um, for any position, really, you know, you know, guys get more yards out of that. So he tackles low, he gets the guys down, he reads the backfield real nicely. He's a great blitzer, um, but I think that, you know, just – he can't really cover every single route. So, you know, maybe he can come in. But at this point, I think he just has a little bit of a learning curve. I think he just has to get a little bit better. I think he should just get drafted on the NFL level and, and just try to get better every day. Especially this offseason is probably going to be very... Um, it's going to be very important to him. So I think whatever team drafts him, I have him going in the you know late third to early fourth. He could be a late fourth round pick, or he could go move down a lot more. Um, you never really know with some of these guys that you know that come out. So uh, so that's jo uh, Josiah. I'm trying to say his name right, Josiah Scott. Damon Arnett from Ohio State. He ran a 4.57. Okay, Damon Arnett played the opposite side of Jeff Okuda. That is, will be a top 10 pick. And, uh, you know, they threw a lot of his way. They threw a lot of his way the past few years at Ohio State. And he's pretty damn nasty. I like him. I like his attitude. Um, I like his tackling skills. I like that he can read backfields really nice. Great blitzer. Guy can come in. His coverage is pretty damn good. Um, mirrors receivers nicely. Um, I think, you know, he has a little bit of issues. He has a little bit of issues, I think, um, finding the football, you know, I think his where he's he's always in good position to bat down to deflect passes, but the, you know sometimes he misses some you know here and there. He's got a miss here and there. So I mean, um, I, I I like Damon Arnett. I just don't think you know he's gonna he's definitely not gonna start you know uh, first day. Um, it, it, he could if you know if a team believes in him. I mean, any, any of these guys on this list could start. You know, what I mean, it, it just depends. You never know what you're going to find in the draft. You could find a guy in the fourth, you know, fifth round. You know, these guys could drop and become stars. You never know. You know, I, I really don't know Damon Arnett's future in the NFL at all because he's been mirrored by he's been mirrored you know by Jeff Okuda at Ohio State so I don't know how much of an impact he is going to make and how much um, he will become a star in the league but I don't think he's going to be star material but I think you know he could come in um, needs an off season needs preseason and, and needs to uh, you know just to see where he's at you know he could play man to man you know he could play both he could play zone and man but man is is probably where he's at the most I don't think he's going to become anything special but I think he could be you know maybe a backup I don't know I just don't know his future so it's really hard for me to even say Jarvis Davis from Auburn okay so th this guy is strictly he and he ran his 40 in a 4.40 okay he's 5883 pounds um he is going to be a backup in the NFL okay I think he will be a backup uh for his first year I think he can become a starter ball hawk um can get picks can get his hands on the football that's where he's really good that's where he's really good 
Um, and I think just a backup, honestly, for this year. I, I think a backup is probably sounding a lot, a lot better. Uh, NFL um, has actually have him as, you know, not really being that top tier corner this year. I think he needs to, um, you know, have a year, another guy that needs another year under his belt. I think he's a, he could be a third round pick, probably a fourth round, or he could drop lower. Th these guys could drop as low as low because he is definitely not a starter. He won't be, will not be a starter in the NFL. Um, Jarvis Davis, um, has done some good things. Um, he's another good blitzer. So a lot of these corners are very good at blitzing. So whatever, all these corners are great at blitzing. Um, some of them are really good at tackling. Jarvis Davis is pretty good at tackling as well. But pr pretty much is going to be a backup um, in the NFL hit for his first year that actually can become a starter. So that's good news to hear if anyone's willing to take him. I, I mean, you're willing to probably take him later on the draft because you don't want to draft a guy too high that's going to be sitting behind um, and kind of just redshirting and learning, um, you know, the technicalities of um, the technicalities of, you know, a defense and, and what defense, what team is, you get drafted by is running and um, just seeing what he does out there and just see how hard he works at it. So I think after a year, NFL thinks after a year, he'll be a starter. Um, so we'll see what happens with Jarvis Davis from Auburn. One of my favorites that the Eagles can actually realistically draft I think AJ Terrell from Clemson okay he's 6'1 195 pounds okay you know pretty tall he's got good he's got good size on him ran a 4.43 AJ Terrell is really good co at, at coverage he's very very good he could play man he could play zone AJ Terrell reads backfields very nicely he's a he's actually a pretty good tackler um I have him going mid to late second round. I think this is a realistic option for the Eagles. Um, he's got he's got great attitude, and he does a very good job with his hands, and he's very good getting his hands literally in the receiver's arms all the time. If you see a ball thrown, if he's in tight mirrored coverage on a receiver, watch his highlight tape. Watch the games that he has played in. The, like especially, you gotta watch the games where he's playing and where where he's in on certain plays when the ball's thrown to that uh, to that receiver. His hands are all up in the receiver's arms. I mean, he's always there. Um, he's a little he he grabs just a little bit, but you know, you just gotta be careful with that in the NFL, of course, with how these flags have been throwing uh, this past year was probably the worst. Um, but he's. He's always physical with the receivers. And, and I think that's what I like about certain corners, that they, they don't leave receivers alone. They don't give them an easy task. He's physical off the line. So he gives a nice push um, to some of these very physical, hands-on approach with a lot of receivers, uh, especially in college. So he's going to be very, like I said, he's going to use his hands a lot. So I like those hand-using those hand -using, uh, corners. They don't just let the receivers, you know, release off the line. He lets, you know, he, he's very physical, and that's what I like about him a lot. I think this is a very realistic pick for the Philadelphia Eagles in the second round. Uh, the Eagles, or if he does drop the third round, you know, the Eagles have two third round picks. It depends what, what's going on in this draft and what we have left after free agency and if we actually get a receiver in the first round. So A.J. Terrell, um, very good corner. Um, and his and actually his video of him um, moving his hips, pretty smooth, not too bad at all. He's actually pretty smooth. He didn't lopside. He wasn't unbalanced. He actually looked pretty smooth. Not as smooth as Jeff Okuda, though. Okuda was just like... But AJ Terrell was, he was just there. Maybe, uh, maybe just a little bit worse than, just a little bit worse, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. If you look at it, it I'm just nitpicking. We all got to nitpick. So, um, but he's, he's moving his hips very smooth and he, his speed definitely picks up. So, uh, very happy with him. Uh, I don't know if I said it, he ran a 4.43. So, um, yeah, that is. AJ Terrell. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, I'll be very happy to bring out more news to all of you guys. Uh, I try my best on all these draft prospects. I know I'm not nearly as perfect as other people do draft, you know, so um, try to do as best I can. Uh, I like the cornerback class coming this year. I think there are some guys that could fit onto NFL teams, uh, especially with the Philadelphia Eagles. I think there are some guys that we need, we need to at least draft somebody. I think draft somebody to at least sit behind. I think two corners will get signed in free agency unless we only sign one. I'd be surprised if we only sign one. I think two are coming to Philadelphia uh, to bring one of these guys in and just to compete in the offseason OTAs minicamp. 
see them play in preseason. That's where, especially with all these players on this list, it is really, it's really going to count. So um, I'm happy with this list. Um, I just want to go over at least seven guys. Um, and there is, you know, I like C.J. Henderson. Jeff Okuda, we have no chance. But I like C.J. Henderson. I like A.J. Terrell a lot, okay? So I'm not expecting the Eagles to draft anybody a corner in the first round. But second round, I think we have a huge chance to get A.J. Terrell. Um, you could get C.J. Henderson if he drops to the second round. So, you know, keep your eyes open for that as well. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys later. Shake squad up, fly, I'll fly. I can see your brain.